Do you need a place to store filament and keep it dry? Let's do it. So I looked online for some something that I could build to store filament and I came across this thing and it looks great. I honestly it looks fantastic. And after scrolling down, I saw that you can get kits for this um from Blue Rose. So um I took a chance and I contacted Blue Rose and they agreed to send me this kit. Uh, so I asked for the kit with the printed parts specifically because I, I want to make sure that the quality of the printed parts are as good as they should be. So um, let's dive into the box and I'll be trying to build this without having looked at any instructions. So yeah. Uh, diff camera. <laughs> All right, um, so here's the box. A uh, nice thick cardboard came fairly quickly. Um, and yeah, let's. Um, I'm going to put you up top and have a good look. And yeah, so um, um, switch again. All right, so the uh, most important thing to me was the printed parts and I've just looked at a couple of them and they do look really nice print quality there I can't complain nice stacking fairly well tuned printers really good layers even this big one that seems a little bit difficult uh, to pr it prints with this face down so there's a big overhang and it looks really, really good. Uh, there's a little bit of ghosting, but I'm, I'm not expecting uh, a perfect print. Let's see if it can, uh, it's difficult to focus, but yeah, there's a little bit of ghosting, but <clears throat> some VFAs. Now, this is extremely picky of me. Um, I would be happy to sell this if I were to print something for someone. <coughs> so the, uh, the kit comes with all the printed parts. It comes with bearings. These looks like, look like normal skateboard um, wheel bearings. Screws and heat inserts, nuts and some adhesive. I guess I'll find that out uh, what it's for. This is a um, thermometer and I guess a humidity sensor, I, I think. And then some more printed parts, just smaller. So I'll, I'll get all of this into something else and I can show you what's in the bottom. I also found some PTFE fittings. And uh, two aluminum tubes. And then 
all of the panels. So we'll get to look at those when I start assembling everything. So yeah, I'm gonna get the uh, instructions up on my screen and I'll just give you just short little, uh, this is not a tutorial, so I'll just give you a short little update as I go along. So all the instructions that you need for this are in on the um, printables page. Super easy to find, just scroll down and there's a list of all the printed parts, all the parts you get uh, or you need. And then the heat inserts. So I'll start with those and I'll, I'll show you one or two and then uh, I'm going to get to the next part. So the instructions are telling me exactly which one to install heat sets into. So right now it's telling me A2 and G2. Um, so I need to read through all of it uh, because there's two different A2s. Um, one has the uh, spots for the uh, PTFE and one doesn't. So I'll looking at the uh, the images. It's th this one, the one without. I'm I'm guessing all of them are going to get heat heat inserts at one point, but I'm going to follow the instructions. Um, so yeah. I'm going to use my trusty little tool that I made in a previous video. And yeah, I'll get to it and get back to you when all the heat inserts are done. All right, I have all my heat inserts put in. Fairly straightforward. Um, these were a little bit tricky just because they're, they're so small and difficult to hold. But um, everything else is super easy. The, I'm not loving the choice of heat sets. Um, they're using injection mold heat sets instead of normal 3D printing heat sets. Um, shouldn't be an issue on this stuff. Um, and the quality of the heat sets are not that good. Some of them had to be filed down to be good enough. But yeah, I've, I, was managed, I managed to work with it. Next is assembly, and um, the um, instructions on here looks fairly good to me. So I'll run through everything, and when I get to the uh, frame being assembled, I'll I'll come back to you. And here it is. It's looking great. Super easy to build. I can see now that I need to flip this. This one's upside down, so I'll just take these two screws on and flip them. Uh, nothing major, but yeah, really cool little build. And I'm gonna get the, the panels on. So I just un, unpackaged, I, I don't know. Um, I got the uh, panels out from the plastic and they're all labeled really nicely so there's no guesswork uh, I can I can just put them on so this is the uh, the back panel that satisfying peel and I can put that in right there and there's nuts on the inside of all these screws uh, so no more heat sets so I'll um, get all the panels on. And I think there's some more stuff going on inside. Uh, the instructions told me to put these in because it's easier now than later. So yeah, I'll be uh, back with some panels. And there you go, panels are on, hinges are on, and the, the PTFE fittings are on. Nice little handle. I still need to glue the uh, magnets in place and I have all of these uh, filament spool um, rollers because the uh, all the bearings it doesn't seem like the kit comes with the screws for this 
because uh, I have like three screws, three nuts, and four heat inserts left over. So uh, that's not a big deal. It works just like this. I do wish that they had um, included the screws for these, because uh, I think this is will this will be like the next step up. Uh, so just a note: it comes with. Um, 12 of these fittings because there's uh, six more holes in the back um, so you can put have uh, filament going up the back or if you flip this back panel it goes straight through uh, so yeah I do like this design I do like the kit printed parts are excellent quality I do wish they came with uh, screws for the uh, the bearing parts uh, because I have all of these, I just don't have the screws for them um, and heat inserts. So yeah, um, I really like this design. Uh, I'll give all the credit to the designer. I'll have a link to both this kit and the original design on printables. Uh, his name is Bram Elama. And... Yeah, I highly recommend this kit. Uh, even though I have printers that can do all of this printing, the price of the kit with printed parts is less than I would have had to pay for filament and printing costs. So yeah, excellent kit, fantastic design. I do wish it come came with the screws for these. Um, yeah. Um, the uh, humidity sensor comes without a uh, the batteries. I'll have to go get some of those. But yeah, that that's my my final uh, view on this thing. It's a really good looking design. I I I might get another one uh, just to put next to it or on top of it because um, I'm building a new rack for my printers, and this will be perfect to have in the middle. Because of these uh, top-mounted uh, PTFE mounts, I can have filament going up and down. So yeah, um, if you haven't, uh, press that um, thumbs up button. If you have not subscribed, please do. It really helps me help out. And I do make videos every Monday, and I do live streams every Wednesday. And for the sake of transparency, I did not pay for this kit. Uh, Blue Rolls sent it to me to make this video. And thank you to them for uh, trusting me with with uh, this. So, um, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs>